Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a water level controller using ESP32. With this controller, we can automate our water pump to automatically fill up our water tank. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. This is the block diagram of this project. ESP32 is the main component of the project. It is actually the brain of the project. A 16x2 LCD is used to display the water level, operation mode and the pump status. A relay is used to turn on and off the water pump. Push buttons are used to set the different parameters of the controller. An ultrasonic sensor is used to measure the water level. Now let's see the connections of the project. These are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its one pin to V in pin of ESP32 and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to V in pin of ESP32, its ground pin to ground, its SDA pin to D21 pin of ESP32 and its SCL pin to D22 pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect ultrasonic sensor and connect its VCC pin to V in pin of ESP32, its ground pin to ground, its trigger pin to D4 pin of ESP32, and its echo pin to D2 pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number two of the transistor and its other pin to D15 pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a five volt relay and connect its one coil pin to V in pin of ESP32 and its other coil pin to pin number one of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to V in pin of ESP32 and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other terminal to common terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its 1 pin to D34 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its 1 pin to D34 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to 3 volt pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D35 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to D35 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to 3 volt pin of ESP32. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to ESP32 and test the project. We have used I2C LCD. So we need the library for the LCD. If your compiler does not have the library, download it.
Now let's see how to set the parameters of this controller. First, press the menu button. Select the mode option. This controller has two operation modes, auto mode and manual mode. In auto mode, the water pump will automatically turn on when the water level is less than low set level and turns off when the tank is full. In manual mode, the pump will turn on only when we press the start button and it turns off automatically when the tank is full. The next option is low level set. Press the select button. Now we can select the low set level with the next button. The next option is tank full calibration. Fill up your tank and press the select button. Your controller is calibrated to the full level of your tank. The next option is tank empty calibration. Empty your tank and press the select button and your controller is calibrated. The next option is exit. Press the menu. Press the select button. Now all the parameters are set. So let's test the project. Thank you. 
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.